Hello everybody and welcome to another quick Dwarf Fortress tutorial. In this video, we are going to be talking about things you can do with animals and mounts. For this video, I'm using a human adventurer. This adventurer is legendary in animal training and also has a whole lot of mounts. If I select the companion screen, you can see that we have a alpaca, black bear, cat, donkey, grizzly, boar, reindeer cow, and a sheep. We also, if you check our inventory, scroll down a little ways, you can see that we also have a tame blue jay who's sitting on my left shoulder and a tame hedgehog, which is sitting on my right shoulder. The first thing I need to talk about is small creatures, such as this blue jay and this hedgehog. These creatures cannot do anything of value or note, really. Aside from that, when you talk to your god or talk to yourself, you're not talking to nobody. You are talking to them, theoretically. The next thing worth noting is in the use ability screen, you can pet animals. This allows you to be affectionate with your pets. Currently, this is disabled as the UI is not ready in the version of game that I'm playing right now, but you'll have to trust me, you can pet your animals or spit on them if you're a horrible person. When I walk up to my pet sheep here, I can view them. Viewing them doesn't really do much, aside from it will tell me if they are injured and what their injuries are. I can also read their description. When I open up my inventory, I can then select items in my inventory. One of the options in the inventory is all the way over here, which is put this item into a container. I can put this onto any animal that is considered to be a pack animal. So it's selecting the donkey, which is the closest one. Pack animals are things like horses, donkeys, mules, and alpacas, yaks, and cattle, but apparently not reindeer. And as far as riding your pets goes and using them as mounts, that depends on the size of your character. So for this human, the only creature that's big enough for it to ride is the grizzly bear because I forgot to bring horses. If I wanna use my pets as a pack animal, what I do is I press I on the keyboard or click on the inventory button, which is down here in the bottom left, open it up and then scroll down and select the item that we wish to put onto one of my pets as a pack animal. I'm gonna use this yak leather water skin as an example. I'm gonna click put this item in container and then I'm going to click on the donkey to then put the item on the donkey. If I would like to put more items onto the donkey, I could then open up my inventory again, and this time select my copper bolts, which I am then going to click on put onto the donkey, and then it is added to the pack animal. If I wish to get these items back, I can get them back by right-clicking the donkey and then selecting the item of choice. In this case, it would be the leather water skin with the frozen water in it. And once again, to remove items from the donkey, simply right-click the donkey and then click on the rest of the items we would like to get back. In this case, it's those copper bolts. We would like to remove all 25 from the donkey, and this removes the pack animal symbol from the donkey. The next thing I would like to cover is using pets as mounts instead of pack animals. Using animals as mounts is quite simple. There is a button for it. It's down here. It is the climb or hold terrain button. When selected, there is an option to lead your animals. Now this allows us to lead our pets around like a mount. So let's say lead the reindeer. We're gonna move our reindeer slightly north and then press H again to stop leading the reindeer. If I move down ever so slightly, we could then lead our grizzly bear, which is the one animal that is large enough for a human to use as a mount in this menagerie. Once I've led the grizzly bear away from the rest, which I don't need to do to mount it, I'm just simply showing that you can do that, we can then mount the grizzly bear. Once the, we are mounted on the grizzly bear, we can then move around at the pace of our choosing. Uh, and then if I wish to dismount from the grizzly bear, I can either click the climb or hold terrain button to dismount, or we could jump by either pressing J on the keyboard or the jump button. And then we can jump off of our pet with style. And it doesn't really matter if they are trained in the military or not, they will defend you if you get attacked. So my question to you is, what is your favorite mount to have in adventure mode? Do you have a particular animal you like to run around with? Would you like to be friends with this crazy zookeeper of a human? Maybe we'll see them again in the future. Thank you very much for watching this video, and I hope to see you in the next one.